Hi, beautiful friends and bookish fam. My name is Brittany. This is Rescues and Reads. Thank you so much for joining me here today. If you are new, welcome. I'm so glad to have you. And if you're a returning subscriber, as always, I appreciate your continued support. Thank you so much for returning to another video. Today, I thought we would just do a quick chit chat update video. If y'all are watching this on the day that it is posted, that means it is January 1st. It is the very first day of 2024. I hope that your holidays were absolutely magical and that 2024 is one of your best years yet. And I hope that you're excited for everything to come your way in 2024. Now, Mondays are typically not days that I upload a video, but like I said, I just kind of had an urge to do a sit down, very informal, casual chit chat style update video for you. I don't really have a whole lot of plans for this video other than to discuss some my minor content changes that I'm going to be bringing to my channel and a little bit of a life update kind of because it hasn't happened yet and it might not but I thought I would go ahead and share the possibility with you anyway. So I have my cup of coffee here. I am ready to chat. So let me just go ahead and quickly talk to you about some minor content changes that I'm bringing to my channel in 2024. Nothing huge or anything but I just kind of want to give you an idea of what to expect. If you've been with my channel for any length of time y'all know that I struggle with wrap-ups especially end of month wrap-ups. I find it absolutely tough time consuming and labor intensive to at the very end of the month try to gather up all of the thoughts and feelings that I've had over the books that I've read for the month and try to summarize all of the books in a way that's both articulate and thorough but brief and comprehensive at the same time and I don't feel like I'm very good at it and it's not something that I enjoy doing and so because of that I've tried various forms of wrap-ups on my channel. Lately I've just been doing a mid-month wrap-up where in the middle of the month I come and wrap up all of the books that I've read so far in that month and then at the end of the month I wrap up the remainder of the books that I've read and so far it's been working working out okay, but it's still not something that I love doing. It's not something that I look forward to doing. And so I have made the decision that I'm going to combine my desire to bring back weekly or bi-weekly reading vlogs with wrap-ups. So essentially the reading vlogs that I put out each month are going to be a combination of reading vlog as well as wrap-up. So if you were interested in all of my in-depth thoughts and feelings about the books that I'm reading, you're going to have to check out the reading vlogs. Now I know a lot of content creators who put out weekly or bi-weekly reading vlogs. At the end of every month, they still do a wrap up, wrapping up all of the things that they've read so that those people who don't watch the vlogs can still get the wrap ups. And while I respect that and I admire that greatly, the whole point of this is to get me away from doing those formal wrap ups. And I'm not really interested in doubling up on content. So I'm not going to be including in depth, thorough reviews in my vlogs just to sit down and try to do another wrap up at the end of the month. I feel like including my wrap ups in these vlogs are going to do a couple of things. First of all, I feel like the reviews are going to be more authentic because they're going to be in real time. They are going to be off the cusp but also because they're in real time everything is going to be fresh so I'm going to be able to give you a lot more of my thoughts and feelings and I'm going to be able to make the reviews a little bit more in-depth than I would in a standard mid-month end of month kind of wrap-up. Now I haven't officially decided whether I'm going to try to do weekly or bi-weekly vlogs. Y'all will have to let me know your thoughts and opinions because a standard week in my life is very very uneventful. You know I'm working Monday through Friday. I work full-time. I typically don't get home until after six because immediately after I get off work I go to the gym, I get home from the gym, I cook dinner, I'm watching a show with my husband, I'm cleaning up the after dinner mess, and then it's time to get ready for bed. So basically from like 5.30 in the morning to roughly about 10, 10.30 at night, I'm doing some kind of work. You know, I'm doing work work, I'm school work, housework, gym work, whatever work you want to call it, I'm basically doing some kind of work. So there's not always an opportunity for me to include a lot of b-roll footage, and so that's probably why I'm leaning a little bit more towards bi-weekly vlogs, or I could just bring you shorter weekly reading vlogs that might have a little bit less b-roll footage and a little bit more more updates within the footage. So you'll have to kind of let me know what you like about reading vlogs. Honestly, reading vlogs are one of my favorite things to watch here on BookTube. I know that they're not everybody's cup of tea and not everybody is going to want to watch the reading vlogs and that is completely understandable. So what I do plan on doing is I'm going to be introducing a new series of videos on my channel where at the end of every single month, I'm going to be doing a combination video where I'm going to bring you a monthly haul and unhaul, no matter how small those might be. I'm going to bring you a TBR update because as we know, I'm still trying to whittle down my physical TBR as much as possible, even though it already is very, very small. And then I'm also going to be doing a monthly wrap-up recap where I share with you all the books that I've read and my ratings for them, but not necessarily talking about any of my thoughts or feelings. Because like I said, if you really want to know my in-depth thoughts or feelings about the books, you are going to have to go ahead and go to the vlogs. But you will still have an opportunity if you don't watch the vlogs to get an idea of what I read in a month and what my overall ratings for them will be in that monthly recap video that I'm going to be doing at the end of every month. So that's the main 
content update is that I think I'm going to go ahead and once and for all eliminate wrap ups. Now the trick is going to be remembering to vlog, especially if there's nothing going on or especially if I'm going through it, you know, if I'm very stressed out or very, very busy because I will be starting a new grad class on January 8th and January is one of the busier months for my job. So January is automatically going to be starting out really, really hectic, but I feel like this is the perfect time to kind of try to implement all of this because if I can do it during hectic times, I can do it during low times as well. We're going to see how it goes, but please comment down below and let me know your thoughts on reading vlogs. Please let me know if you would like me to do weekly vlogs that might be a little bit shorter in nature with a little bit less b-roll footage, or if you would like me to do bi-weekly reading vlogs, which are going to be longer and may contain a little bit more b-roll footage. Please definitely comment down below and let me know what you like to see in reading vlogs. I will take all of that feedback into account. So that is the channel update. Now I want to get into a brief life update, but like I said, it's not quite an update because it hasn't actually happened yet and it might not happen, but I feel like I should let you know because if it does happen, it will potentially impact my channel. Now, if you are in the discord that I hold for all of the people that participate in my weekly reading sprints, you will already be a little bit familiar with what is going on. And I'm not going to go into too much detail about it here in public because I don't think that's appropriate. And like I said, I don't have too terribly many details at this point, but basically we were notified on December 4th that there is going to be some restructuring happening at my job. And all of the changes are going to be taking place during the spring semester of next year, which starts in January and they're all expected to be finalized by the summer semester. Basically the long and short of it is I don't know whether or not I'm going to have a job by summer of next year. I have no idea what the restructuring is going to look like. We don't know how many of us are going to keep our jobs or not. And it has put me into a little bit of a weird mental space, as you can imagine, because at this point I'm very much in limbo. I have no idea whether I'm going to be employed by this time next year or not. But obviously if I no longer keep the job and I'm thrust back out into the job market, there's a lot of things that come along with that. And it could potentially affect the content of my channel, especially depending on what new job I end up getting, what my work hours are, what my schedule is, and things like that. Obviously my booktube channel is very important to me and it's always going to be a priority and I'm going to do my best to make sure that it is as unaffected as possible. But I'm kind of entering this year on somewhat unstable footing and it's kind of unfortunate because I am one of those people that really buys into the hype of the new year. I really do believe that a new year can be a fresh start and I'm still trying to enter into 2024 with that same mindset. But currently there are a lot of things about the year that are already outside of my control. But yeah, so 2024 is starting off on a little bit of an interesting note. And so depending on how it all kind of flushes out, how it all kind of works out, I don't know what the second half of the year is going to look like. Things could look very different in my life by summer of next year. And that could potentially impact my channel. And of course, I would let y'all know should anything like that happen. And any other updates that I get as we go, I will try to include those in the vlog. So I hope that you will stick with me. And then last before I go, if y'all have any ideas for videos that you might like to see from me, please feel free to leave those down below. And please don't forget to go and leave your comment on the project announcement that I made back in December for the Read Like My Subscribers project that I'm doing throughout 2024, where I try to read like as many of you as possible. All you have to do is go to that video and leave me up to five of your favorite books. Now, how you decide what to share is completely up to you. And they are going to be added to my challenge cup that I pull from every single month when I do my monthly TBR. So please don't forget to go back to that video and leave your suggestions. And also please let me know if you would like to see me do Bookmas in 2024 again as well. I am a content planning machine right now. I'm really trying to get as far ahead in content planning as I possibly can. So any of your help and feedback is always appreciated. And of course, I would like to bring back my Slayer Fest readathon. So if you have any suggestions for the Slayer Fest readathon, please leave all of that information down below. I would love your thoughts and feedback. Or if you've made it to the end of this video and you're not feeling chatty, go ahead and leave me a hug emoji down in the comments below. Y'all know that I love seeing your comments, even the emojis. I love the engagement and it helps me and my channel so very much. And as always, if you like this video or if you just like me, please be sure to give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. I aim to post one video a week, sometimes two, depending on what I could do. I love connecting with you in all of my videos or on any of my other social media platforms, which I always leave linked down below along with any books that I may talk about in a video. Until next time, y'all. Bye.